Streamline recommends the second season premiere of Westworld, as the show you should watch this week. With HBO's extensive marketing campaign for the series' return, which even involved an eerie animatronic robot in a pub, which you can watch below, you probably don't need to be told the futuristic epic returns this Sunday. If you somehow don't already know, Westworld is a show about a Wild West-style theme park where the robots, there to play off the guests' every whim, are gradually becoming sentient. Regardless of whether they've achieved sentience, what even is sentience, anyway, the robots, who originally couldn't hurt humans, definitely become violent. In Season 2, they escape the Western Park and find other themed parks to terrorize. The robots also might make it to the real world, but who knows what they find is actually the real world or just yet another theme park. What even is real? So many questions with this show. Watch the trailer for Season 2 in the ranking list below and the navigation bar above, you can choose specific recommendations for series streaming on Netflix, Hulu and Amazon. HBO, Westworld, is the new show to watch this week. Charité, on Netflix, Season 1, a period drama set in late 19th century Berlin that focuses on a woman trying to break into the medical profession. Read more at the Netflix Streamline. The Letdown, also on Netflix, Season 1, this follows the life of a new mother, Read more at the Netflix Streamline. Recent shows that also are decent The Americans, from FX. Season 6, The Assassination of Johnny Versace, on FX. Season 1, Baskets, from FX. Season 3, Champions, from NBC, also on Hulu. Season 1, Read more at the Hulu Streamline. The Cheek, from Showtime. Season 1, Good Girls, from NBC. Season 1, Read more at the Hulu Streamline. High Maintenance, from HBO. Season 2, Homeland, from Showtime. Season 7, The Looming Tower, from Hulu. Read more at the Hulu Streamline. Love, from Netflix. Season 3, read more at the Netflix Streamline. Marvel's Jessica Jones, from Netflix. Season 2, read more at the Netflix Streamline. National Treasure, Kiri, from Hulu. Read more at the Hulu Streamline. Portlandia, from IFC. Season 8, Requiem, on Netflix. Season 1, read more at the Netflix Streamline, Santa Clarita Diet, on Netflix. Season 2, read more at the Netflix Streamline. 7 Seconds, from Netflix. Read more at the Netflix Streamline. The Tick, from Amazon. Season 1, Part 2, read more at the Amazon Streamline. Unsolved, the murders of Tupac and the Notorious B.I.G., from USA. Season 1, Waco, from the Paramount Network. Miniseries, assorted streaming news, Roseanne, is now officially the number one on television. According to Vanity Fair, this is the first time in 18 years that ABC has earned that distinction, when, who wants to be a millionaire, had that, top spot. Roseanne, is also winning the key demo of viewers age 18 to 49. ABC hasn't won that demo in 24 years, when, Home Improvement, had that distinction, and although it's unfortunately far less popular than, Roseanne, The Wonderful Show, At Home with Amy Sedaris, will return for second season on True TV. That show is definitely a streamline favorite. Read news about Netflix, Hulu and Amazon at their respective streamline articles, one weird thing for the second week in a row, the weird thing is, Westworld, marketing. Last week, Westworld, Rickrolled their fans. This time around, a scary robot hung out in a pub and bothered customers. The AV Club called the robot extremely fucked up looking. The robot apparently took three months to create. Watch that video here, Streamline now has a weekly newsletter. If you want streaming news and recommendations like this in your inbox on Saturdays, you can subscribe here. The weekly Streamline ranking of all TV every week, Streamline ranks the best shows to watch right now. There are rankings for the streaming services Netflix, Hulu and Amazon, as well as an overall ranking for all current television shows. The ranking prioritizes newness, quality and potential mass appeal. Read below the list for a more elaborate explanation into the methodology. For the weekend of April 21st, Atlanta tops the list for the eighth time. The season is almost over and Streamline is going to leave it in the top spot through the entirety of its run. Atlanta is definitely a strong contender to be the best show of the year. This season very well may be one of the best of the decade. Ratings seem to have dipped for season 2, which is frustrating. Stop watching, Roseanne, and watch Atlanta, instead. You can catch up on the first season on Hulu, and then watch new episodes at the FX website, you'll need a cable subscription, good luck this week. Hope this helps, G Subjung, HPFX.
Atlanta, FX Season 2 Finale, April 26, 2018 The five-word plot, struggling to succeed in Atlanta. Pro, this show is easily one of the most creative and straightforwardly funny projects of the last few years. Multiple actors are stars on the rise, con, very occasionally it will rely on weirdness instead of being truly clever. HBO, Bay, HBO Season 1 Finale, May 13, 2018 The five-word plot, Hitman wants to become actor. Pro, Bill Hader just may be the country's funniest actor right now. This show has a creative premise and actually pulls it off. Con, the humor might be too niche to be broadly successful. BBC America, strong, relatable character dialogue within the quick-moving storylines. Con, the premise becomes a bit too unbelievable with almost comic book-like characters. HBO, Pro, this is an extremely popular show. Watching week to week is one of the rare times you can have a true zeitgeist moment with a show. It's also a thrilling series regardless. Con, in the first season, the major twists and mysteries were far too predictable. Characters also act irrationally far too often. Here's the trailer. This trailer has over 9 million views on YouTube alone. This is certainly a highly anticipated return. As you can see in the trailer, the characters travel to worlds outside the Western-themed park in this season. Watch to find out if they make it to the real world or if that's just yet another theme park. What is reality? HBO. Silicon Valley, HBO Season 5 Finale, TBA The Five Word Plot, Schlubs Try to Launch Business. Pro, it's rare that ensemble comedies are truly funny these days but this show makes the structure work, con, the show has gotten a bit repetitive over multiple seasons. There are only so many story arcs of almost failure, but then pulling everything off that can still have emotional resonance. Has moments of wonderfully strange humor as well. Con, the Getty kidnapping isn't necessarily compelling enough for a whole show, especially since a movie just came out about the same story. AMC, The Terror, AMC Season, 1 Finale, May 21, 2018 The five-word plot, crew tries surviving uncharted territory, pro, the show started strong and keeps getting better. It's really scary, but based on natural terrors, which is creative. Con, it takes a few episodes to get truly scary, so if you want that, you'll have to wait a bit. TBS. The combined star power of Tracy Morgan and Tiffany Haddish anchors this very well, con, with so many jokes, there are definitely misses. Nothing here is truly remarkable, beyond the fact that Morgan has returned to TV. Fabio Ifuso, Netflix. Collateral, Netflix Season 1 release, March 9, 2018 The five-word plot, crime thriller in contemporary London, pro, it's a compelling watch that stays fun with a constant sense of humor. At just a few episodes, Collateral, resembles one long movie, con, at times it certainly feels like yet another crime thriller. FX. Legion, FX Season 2 Finale, June 5, 2018 The five-word plot, superhero fights evil amid zaniness, pro, perhaps the most inventive and best-written superhero tale out there right now on television. The inherent superhero hook is used to explore truly strange storytelling choices. Con, it's often just too much. When being creative, capital C, is such a heavy-handed choice, this is often exhausting. Streamline recommendations do not include reality shows, game shows, awards shows, news shows and other programs that aren't streaming online. Along with HuffPost's own research watching countless hours of TV, streamline opinions are informed by critical reviews from publications like The New York Times, Vulture, The AV Club, The Ringer and Collider, and aggregators like Rotten Tomatoes and Metacritic. Shows can appear on the main list for two months after their most recent season's final episode. Shows that debut all episodes at once will also be eligible for only two months. If broadcast shows want a chance at showing up on the main list, they should make their episodes easily available to stream. Download Todd Van Luling Senior Culture Reporter, HuffPost.